Hi there, once again welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how we can create a simple interactive PDF using Adobe InDesign. So I'm going to walk you through everything. Consider subscribing, like and share this video as well. So this is a sample of the questionnaire which I've created and you can easily re respond to this questionnaire directly using PDF. So you can see I can just respond to this questionnaire just by checking and also click on radio buttons. Okay, so what is your name? You can go ahead and type your name, even though this is PDF. So this is very interactive. You can see I can type within text boxes and let's jump right into action and see how we can create this. Okay, so I'll go back to Adobe InDesign and then this is basically a document. I'll close this. So this is a sample of the work I've done and I'm going to walk you through how to create this step by step with no step skip. Okay, so let's go to file and go to new and go to documents. So we're going to set up our page. Let me go to print and we're going to use E4 for this. So I'll select E4 and I'll leave everything as default because we're going to use just one page and click on create. Okay, so this is the page you're going to use. Just click on zoom. I just want to zoom in so you see exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. So this is my page and I want to write, I want to give a title to my design. So you can see I've given a title sample survey. So that is what I want to do. Let me go ahead and pick a text box for my two panel and then just drag it across. I'll type sample survey. Page, what we need to do is that we want to type, give a title to this particular questionnaire. So I'll just go to my tools and select a text box and just drag it across. I'm going to type sample survey. So I'll type this and then just highlight it. I just want to change my font to something very bold. So I'll select impact. So I'll pick a font size and then also increase my font size a bit. I can use the move tool and then just try to expand this. So I'll continue to increase the font size. So with your tool selected, just select the entire document and then increase the font size. Okay. So I think this is okay. This is not our main focus. Our main focus is how to get our interactive box and every other thing. So if you see from there, I just type a normal text and I created a text box for that. So in order to do that, let's come down here, pick our type tool and then just drag it where we want to do our typing. So the first thing is going to be with the first question, question one. So I'll just type the question one. So over here, if you can see what I have over, what is your name? I'll just go ahead and then just type that. So this is just a simple question and then you need to go ahead and then provide a text box for the person to type. So down here, we're going to draw a text box. So we'll go back to the tool panel and click on the rectangular tool. We have several options. We want to use the rectangular tool. Just drag it across this way and it's going to create a new text box for you. So this is a text box and then we have under the proposal panel, you can increase the stroke for that text box. So let me increase it a bit so you can see this is quite okay. So what we want to do next is we want to make this text box interactive. So in order to do this, right click on this and then go to what interactive, select interactive. And you can see we have several options. What we want to do now is to select what text field. We have button, you can create interactive button, check boxes, combo boxes and every other thing. Our focus here is to go to a text field because we want people to type in the text. So I'll select that and leave every other option as it is. And then once you've selected this option, just close this. It's automatically going to be what? Interactive. Okay, so that is it. That part has been done. And the next thing we need to do, what to show is I can see you have a small icon over here indicating this is what a text field. A text field. Okay, so we'll go ahead and then go for the second question. So just Press the enter key to create a space for your second question. So the second question, let's see what is going to be. So that's going to be, do you like pets? So this is going to be option. So yes or no. Okay. So we're going to provide two options, yes or no. So in order to do that, we'll go back to our toolbox. Uh, this is going to be what 
a radio button because we want a person to pick one choice either yes or no so we're going to create a radio button so we're going to pick the ellipse tool and then we draw a shape over here and how to get a perfect circle just hold on shift on your keyboard whilst you drag this so just leave it and then you can decide to increase the stroke again from your property panel and i think this is okay okay so we can just go ahead and position this and what we want to do is that we want to select this particular text box radio button okay so this is just our shape and right click on this and go towards interactive and we want to make this what a radio button so select radio button and then just forget about everything leave it as a state default and then close this this is going to be a radio button and that is exactly what we want we want a copy of this so you can just go to select it go to the edit icon and then copy and then we can go back to the same place and then we'll paste so you're going to give you a copy just drag it and position below it so we need two one is going to be yes and one is going to be what's no so we can go back and pick a text box and then let's draw a text box just type it anyway you can move it later on so i'm going to type yes so my first option is going to be yes and i can increase the font size a bit okay and then use the move tool and then just position it next to what your radio button this way okay yes position it and then we need a second one which is going to be what no so we can just copy again select this go back to the edit icon copy go back and then what paste this we're going to get another copy of this just move it down and then we can use our type tool now and change this one to what no okay so this is going to be interactive after saving and i'm going to show you how to save this in interactive format and we're going to add the last one okay we're going to add two more so if so if if yes what is the name so we can create that one so let's go down question number three so i'll type the question if yes what is the name So this is what also what question and we will need a test field so we can just go ahead and select this first one because we've already done this we don't need to follow the same procedure again we can just copy this and paste so select this go to edit icon copy go back and what paste so just just position this one down here as you can see and this is also going to be interactive let's expand our typing space for the last question here So the last one is going to be which of these pets do you like okay so this is going to be what we're going to use a checkbox because the person can select more than one when i save this you see after saving this you know the reason why i've done that so let's go to the fourth one so let's type the question okay so which of these pets do you like so this is also a question so we'll go back to our two option and we'll pick the rectangle to just draw it down here and we just need to increase the stroke as well increase the stroke a bit and then we won't type the name of the pets okay so we can just copy this text over here and then paste and then change the content so let me just copy go back and paste okay so let's bring down here and then we'll change the content. So I'll select my type two and I'll make the first one dog. Okay. And then we'll let's also change this text box to interactive. That's going to be what a checkbox. We need to actually make this interactive. So select it, right click, go to interactive. But this time around, we're going to select what? A checkbox because people can check several options. So select checkbox. Leave everything as it is, and that is okay. So you can see this has been checked, but we are not done yet. We need a copy of this. We need about at least two of that. So go to edit option, copy, go paste, and then I'll paste it once again because I need two of that. Okay. So I'll select this, bring it down here, and then I'll bring the last one. 
and then I'll now pick my content. So I have blog. Let me just copy this, paste, and I'll paste it one more time. Okay, so I'll just come down here and change content with my tab two selected. I'm going to type cut. So consider subscribing if you enjoy this content and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming video tutorials. So I'll just come down here and then I'll change this one to another pet. In this case, I'm going to type a parrot. Okay, so I actually need to open up my space a bit to be able to accommodate the content of this. My spelling is wrong. So I'll just go ahead and then just edit it so we've been able to create this you can make several amazing designs to this but this is just a simple introduction on how to create interactive pdf using adobe Indesign. i'm going to do a lot of questionnaires using this amazing technique and you can use this to do your school questionnaires as well so we will now save this and then we can see how this is going to work and pdf so in order to save this as interactive we'll go to file and then we'll go to export from this export option when we come to save as type there are several options here we're going to select pdf interactive and i'll give a name so let's decide to pick a name let's say sample and we're going to save this to our desktop so we've been able to so that we can open this and see how this is going to work so i'll click on save just leave everything as default and then click on export. So this has been exported and automatically it has been opened to us and you can see this is not going to be very interactive. So you can just select yes. You can see from do you like pets? You have only the right to select one. So it can be yes or no. That is why we use what? A radio button. Okay. So radio button will allow you to pick just one option. But with a checkbox, you'll be able to select more than one or even select all the options available and you can type as well so this is very very interactive and we can create a complex questionnaire using this amazing technique thank you so much for watching this short tutorial remember to like share and then also subscribe if you don't subscribe so like come your way again stay blessed